Uh, lay there. Welcome to the economic data that will be driving the markets on Wednesday, April the 13th. Australia sets a tone with the Westpac Consumer Confidence Index. Now, you want to be watching the Aussie dollar and the Kiwi for this one. They will be in focus on the back of this data. Then it's all eyes on China. Fears about a China slowdown have eased of late, but investors will want to uh, see continued improvement to avoid the market uncertainty creeping back. Now, imports are expected to come in at minus 10.2 and exports plus 2.5%. Then we focus on Europe and start in France for the inflation uh, rate, which is expected to come in at minus 0.2%. Now, France's um, finance minister said in February that France's inflation target for 2016 would have to be cut down sharply because of a drop in global oil prices. Eurozone production is set to drop after starting the year on a much stronger footing than last year, with production seeing the biggest annual rise since August of 2011. But that momentum, as you can see, is not set to uh, stay. You need to watch the euro dollar on the back of both of those data releases, the French one and the eurozone. Across the pond for the U.S. retail sales then, uh, which are expected to gain by 0.1%. Now, this comes after retail sales dipped in uh, each of the previous three months, including a disappointing holiday shopping season for retailers, uh, many of whom also blame uh, some of their sales drops on unseasonally warm weather as well, unseasonally warm winter weather. Uh, U.S. business inventories then, they are set to drop. Now, this suggests that businesses are still taking their time to reduce the stock of unsold merchandise clogging up their warehouses. We head to Canada then. We've got Bank of Canada. They're going to unveil their rate decision, which is expected to stay exactly the same, unchanged, at 0.5%. Then it's back to the US and on your calendar for the EIA crude oil inventories. Now, the price of oil has been volatile for the past two months or so because of expectations of a concerted effort by the oil majors to tighten supply. All right, we finished the uh, data release day in the States. It's the Beige Book. Now, this gives us an inclination of how each U.S. district is doing. So busy, busy. That's how Wednesday is shaping up. Join us tomorrow for what to put in your Thursday diary.